Welcome to the LibWizard Introduction. I'm Diane Schrecker, Curriculum Librarian and Head of the Instructional Resource Center at Ashland University Library. I am also AE Library's SpringShare Platform Administrator. This video introduces LibWizard. It will provide an overview of the LibWizard dashboard and products, explore a product landing page, its organization and components, identify how to determine if you own or have editing rights to a product item, and review examples and operations of an existing LibWizard quiz. Participants will practice learn skills by logging into the LibApps platform, selecting an available quiz, and determining if they have rights to manage and edit the item. The LibApps dashboard is your starting point for access to SpringShare platforms and tools currently used by Ashland University. We will begin by logging in to a LibApps account. I am using the AU Library account for this video. It has access to LibWizard, AU Library Facts, and LibGuides. Our focus today is LibWizard. Select the LibWizard link to begin. The LibWizard dashboard provides access to four products, forms, surveys, quizzes, and tutorials and assessments. Access a product from the dashboard work pad or use the navigation menu at the top of the page. The gold product menu and the blue spring share product menu remain available throughout the platform. Today we're going to explore LibWizard quizzes. The dashboard presents choices to create a new quiz, create a new folder, and refresh the list of available quizzes. It's also possible to limit display quizzes by owner. Our folders are being used to organize quizzes by owner and quiz topics and departments. Next to each folder, you will find information about the folder owner, when it was created, when it was updated, and the number of items located within the folder. For instance, the ATS Library Blackboard folder includes seven items. Select a folder to view its contents. Folder contents present the name, owner, date created, date updated, URL code and information for sharing the item, number of submissions, number of items within the quiz, and an opportunity for different actions. Select an item to view. Notice that the AU Librarian account only has rights to view this quiz, not edit. Access permissions are set by the quiz owner. The quiz option field is grayed out and it's not possible to make any changes to the items. You'll notice the same with WorkPad content area. You can view but not make any changes. It is possible, however, to preview the quiz. Navigate back to Quizzes using the top menu. We'll return to the ATS Library Blackboard folder, and this time view the Quick Check for EBSCO and Google Drive. As you can see, the AU Librarian account has rights to edit this field. Quiz Options, Fields, and the Text Bank are accessible. When opening the Edit screen, all of the information is available and changes can be made. 
Once again, you can preview the quiz. and submit a practice session if desired. Submit the results and submit to complete. Select Quizzes to return to the quiz menu and select Dashboard to return home. This concludes the introduction to LibWizard. Please feel free to contact me with any questions and stay tuned for more LibWizard tutorials.